In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we'd like to show you how you can take a photograph and transform it into a painting. Some very talented people can do this naturally because they're great painters. You can do this yourself, even if you're not a great painter. Let's show you how. I have a photograph I brought into my project and I'm in the Guided tab for editing. Now I'm going to go down to the Generative AI slash Effects subcategory on the left side. The one I want to pick is the fifth one down. It's called Picture to Painting. I'll click on that. And this gives me a number of options of the kinds of paintings I can use. Let's just try a few and see the difference. I'm going to click on Abstract 3. When I click on that, it will process it and apply it to the painting. Now, the strength is by default 100%. If I don't want it quite that dramatic, I can back it off, and you see it begins to change, a kind of a cross between a photograph and a painting, so I can make it all the way back to normal, or I can make it very intense if I want. Let's look at a couple of others. Let's try this Cartoon 3. I double-click on it. It will process it again. And here is another look at that same painting. Right now, it's at 59% strength. Let's move it upwards. And there we have more of a soft look. And we can go down farther, and it gets more and more realistic. The other thing that you can do with these photographs is, as you're using this style, you can mask out certain parts of the image. I'm going to click on the icon here, which will select the most prominent object. When I click on this, it actually selects the part of the lighthouse and part of the boat and part of the dock. So that's normal and everything else is different. Let me crank it up to 100% and you'll see the difference even more dramatically. So part of it looks like a painting, part of it looks realistic. You can invert that as well. When I click on the button here, it will swap the two, and therefore this is the area that is more like a painting, and the rest of it is realistic. And again, the strength will determine the degree to which they are alike or different. Let's go back to the other way. If you ever want to stop what you're doing and start all over, all you need to do is click on the clear button in the lower left corner. Now I'm starting over. Let's try a couple of others. We have a default category. We have another category called oil paintings. Let's try one of these. Here's one I have not even downloaded because it has a down arrow. I'll download it off the Cyberlink website. It doesn't take but seconds to do that. Then I'll click on it. It will apply it. And this is what this one does at that strength level. There it's maximized. And here it is a little more subtle. Let's try a few others that we have here. We have some watercolors we can work with if we desire. Let's take uh, style number nine and see what that one looks like. And here's a nice watercolor. That one actually doesn't look too bad to my eyes. And you can make it almost anything you want. And again, let's take the brush and instead of using the near object, prominent object, I'm gonna click on the circle, the second one over. And then I, I can paint something. Right now, let's do the boat. And now the boat will stand out because it will look unpainted. And there's an example of taking that contrast and using it in the photograph. Again, if I want to invert it, I can click on this. And now the boat is using that particular painting effect and everything else is normal. You can also change it by inverting it. You can erase the part that you've done and say, oh, I don't want that boat there, so I'll just erase it. It'll go back to the painting and then I can paint something else. Maybe I just want to highlight the flag more like normal. Everything else is somewhat painted. So that's what the tools at the lower left corner do. You also have one that says apply original colors. Many of these have shades in them. If I click on this one, you notice we've got more of the original blue in the water, a little more red here. If I turn it off again, you've got the brown overtones uh, muting everything in that way. We also have some sketches that we could use. Let's look at a couple of these. These are more pencil type sketches. Let's try this one here and see what it looks like. There's one. And again, we're around 50%. It 
It can go all the way up to here or very close to normal, the original. Let's try another couple of categories. Let's try the textures. Uh, we'll try Style 03 under Textures. And this is a quite of a different painting. Again, I can take the texture and I can knock it back a little bit. Or I can make it very, very intense. So you move from realistic to abstraction as you take the slider and strength and move it from left to right. Let's try another one and we'll go into Watercolors Volume 2 and let's just try Style 09. See what that one looks like. Okay, there's another one you can use. And Again, I'll switch between Normal and Original Color and you see it makes a significant difference. So these are the tools that you can use to take any photograph you have and become your own painter as you paint the same scene digitally using the tools Picture to Painting in PhotoDirector 365.